since 2019, I have went to maybe about 300 different churches speaking about the oil of joy and the anointing that I'm carrying. But none of the churches believed me any more than Jesus being inside the synagogue saying that he was and is the son of the living God. That he came to set the captives free. To bind up all those broken hearted. The one carrying shame. And the Pharisees, the synagogue, pastors, the teachers of the Torah, they said, who do you think you are? You're not our God. Well, I went to about 300 churches since about 2019 telling you who I am. And it's no different than Jesus walking 2,024 years ago. They called him a demon. They called him Beelzebub. That he prophesies in a demon name in Bel. Jesus was blameless and died for daughter Zion, who is a sinner, born of a woman as Jesus, born of a man. He had to do what he did to have this moment now. And it's the moment that many have waited for. But many are denying the Holy Spirit. Revelation 12 is a woman. It says woman. But to all the Christians out there that think it's a spiritual thing, it manifests on earth as it is in heaven. Wisdom is on earth. Pray for wisdom while you look for your Esther with the oil of joy. Jesus was not a politician. Jesus didn't stand with the left or the right. Jesus was amongst the men. He was amongst the sinners. He was amongst the tax collectors. He ate with the Pharisees. They were studying him all the while like watchers. Now you tell me in modern day, Isaiah was the best prophet. And I'm going to say I have this right here from the house of destiny with my guitar in red and white. From the house of destiny because I believe that Kim Clement saw Esther, the woman with the oil of gladness and joy. Go get me some of this oil and pour it on this black top out here, this new asphalt. They even got Rita's pumpkin pie ice cream called pumpkin concrete to let you all know that wisdom cries on the streets and you all don't hear. But you tell me, you wanna eat pumpkin pie concrete? Does that make sense? It does if you're Esther pouring the oil all over the concrete as the Lord said, all over the roads, all over the highways and the byways for this nation. But they ripped it up. And the best that they could do was give everybody in New York and Philadelphia while she was here for three years, plowing, sowing in joy. The best they could do is give every citizen here new driveways, new streets, Beautiful. You go to Texas, it looks like garbage now. Rocks all over the place. Texas was never like that. But pumpkin pie concrete for Doyle's town, Rita's. Mmm. Concrete? Asphalt? As Kim Clement was pouring that oil on the blacktop, the blacktop, 
the black top, okay? Somebody said they were worried that he might slip. But you see that oil and Doc Martens? Doc Martens is oil resistant. Let me show you something. You see how the sun works? They're steadily covering it up with airplanes, you know, because it's so hot. Global climate control. But the oil of joy on the concrete. Let me show you. This right here is oil resistant. Doc Martin, an English company, knew this is oil resistant. It is yellow if you look at it, if you hold it up to the light. The sole of a Doc Martin, a true one, is this color. Hold it up to the light, you'll see. You have to catch a revelation as you look for your esters. You would understand why cartels are afraid of a woman because they're afraid. If this oil that's anointed by God opens the sky, when it's supposed to be raining, well, the witnesses have the power to shut the heavens where it does not rain. But this is opening the sky where the sun's coming through. The sun of righteousness for the healing under his wings. This is open in the sky. And it's shining that lake of fire that demons hate. Cartels hate. And if this woman has the anointed one in a bottle because he put his spirit in it, then we're going to suddenly like her. Why? Because if we get rid of her, that lake of fire is coming down on us. One comes, one goes down. What comes up? Well, what happens? Prophecy is real and they're seeing it. Cartels don't touch a woman they could take out easily. Now, some of the political women that are on stage today, famous both left and right, if she was to say she's the anointed one, they would applaud for her for the lie. But the truth is, they ain't gonna tell you who the true one is. But those who've been watching me, if you lie, Jesus is knowing who you are. If you're a Christian that calls yourself a Christian and you see me testify in the name of Jesus and a new name, Shiloh is Shiloh. If you see me doing that and you say, I don't know you, well, then you don't know the Lord Jesus. He has a new name written on him that receives it in Revelation 3.12. Written on him is a new name. Well, who is him? Shiloh means brother. Philadelphia love.